Thursday, May 7th. I am here at the school. I got to come in this week to do a little bit of work and finish things up. This will be the last Hey Band video before the summer. Just like the last ones, I wanted to say that I really miss you guys. And I am excited for summer, as I know some of you are, to get away from your schoolwork and to get out there and do things but also excited about the possibility of things opening up this summer and, and slightly getting back to normal. we got to keep hoping for that. Uh, but remember to stay safe, uh, listen to your parents, uh, listen to the people that know what's going on and follow those instructions. I just have a few announcements to give you, and then we're going to do a little Q&A to wrap up this week. Um, but our announcements for this week, um, one, today is the last day of virtual school, um, or tomorrow is, I should say, Friday, May 8th. So make sure you log on to your Smart Music and your Google Classroom and finish up your assignments. Um, finish strong. You can do those. And uh, make sure you get them all done before summer begins. Uh, drum majors for high school band. Drum major applications and section leader applications and quartermaster, uniform quartermaster and librarian uh, applications are all due tomorrow uh, before midnight. So make sure you go back through your Google Classroom and find those links to... Uh, those applications to get all your stuff turned in and submitted by tomorrow. Um, chocolate. chocolate. Our chocolate fundraiser ended this year right before spring break, and we sold just enough to barely break even on our chocolate fundraiser, uh, which is the good news. We didn't end up losing money on it, but I still have lots and lots of chocolate. So if you would like to buy a box of chocolate at cost, at cost please contact me on Facebook or email or remind text. Uh, each, each box has 60 bars in it, and I'll sell all the boxes now for 30 bucks. We need to get rid of them and get them moving. So if you would like to buy a box of chocolates at cost uh, to help out the band, please, please, please let me know. I, I have about 20 cases left, um, and we can set up a time to meet here at the school and get you some of that chocolate um, in the next few weeks. Um, high school band. High school band. Our band banquet is going to be virtual this year. Dr. C and I were working on the video today, and we're going to do some editing of it and and put that out uh, hopefully by this weekend. So keep your eyes and ears peeled for the band banquet video. Um, we had a lot of fun making it, and we're really goofy, and hopefully it'll make you laugh and take your mind off of things. But uh, we gave out all the awards. We just sent all the plaques into the, the shop, and uh, we'll have those plaques back in a couple weeks, as well as our... Uh, senior gifts for our graduating seniors, as well as an extra little gift this year. Um, the parents of one of our awesome seniors, Lindsay Pahanchak, her, her mom and, and stepdad took the banners off of the football stadium and framed them for you seniors. So those personalized banners, you'll be able to pick those up when you get your senior gifts as well. Um, a really cool thing that they, they paid for all those frames for all of them. A neat memento for you to keep... Um, and hold on to to remember your time in Tuttle Band. So uh, just to wrap up, okay, finish your Smart Music Assignments Band. If you want chocolate, contact me. I'll sell it to you at cost for $30 a box for 60 bars. Um, the banquet video is coming out soon. And for high schoolers, seniors especially, high schoolers that win awards at the banquet or seniors for your gifts, just keep your, your ears and eyes peeled to remind messages. I will set up a time when all the plaques and senior gifts are done, that we can meet up here at the school um, sometime before June, for sure. It won't be that long. But it'll be in the next couple weeks. We'll, we'll set a time to give out those awards if you won one, and uh, as well as your senior gifts. All right, Ben, it's almost summertime. Um, eighth graders. Oh, I almost forgot one announcement. Eighth graders. We're going to have... Um, I just remembered. I, this is typical Mr. B. I just realized I have two announcements I forgot. And they're right there on my list, too. Uh, eighth graders, we're going to be sending out some videos about marching fundamentals um, that one of our drum majors has put together. And the marching fundamentals videos uh, will teach you how to march as best as possible while at home. It is very important, eighth graders, that are coming into high school band next year as freshmen. If you want to earn a spot in the marching band show, you need to practice. And we're going to miss out on, we missed out on minicamp. That was supposed to be this week. We didn't get to do it. You're going to need to watch these videos and practice at home. I know it might seem silly, but part of making the team as a freshman marching band member is um, you got to be good at it. Okay, you got to be able to play and march in time with the fundamentals that we teach you. So we're going to put out videos that cover those fundamentals 
and work on them on your own. If you have questions, please feel free to ask Dr. C and I um, any questions about marching band next year. But keep your eyes peeled for those videos. Uh, one of our drum majors, Brody Helps, will put those together. We're putting together some commentary that goes with his footwork and demonstration of those fundamentals that will help you learn them at home. Okay, and then finally, Swasu Band Camp. Pretty much everything this summer has been canceled, as you are uh, well aware of. And all the band camps around the region in different states have been canceled. Swasu is going to try something different. Um, they're going to try to do a virtual band camp. And I know we're all probably uh, sick and tired of virtual things at this point, and we want to get back to normal. But uh, they are going to offer a virtual band camp this year that is a much reduced cost. Obviously, it's hundreds of dollars to go to band camp. The virtual band camp will be a lot less. Keep your eyes peeled to swasucamps.com, and they're going to have some information. We're going to be teaching courses that we would teach there um, online, through Zoom, through through different videos, and it'll give you um, something to do this summer that will be good for your musical brain and, and help you keep learning and stay focused. So take advantage of that. It, Swasu Band Camp will never be cheaper than it is this summer. Um, and there'll be a lot to get from it. There's a lot of instructors around the state that are going to be involved in that. So SwasuCamps.com, check that out. All right, now let's get to Ask Mr. B. All right, so a couple weeks ago, I asked you guys to send in your last questions for Ask Mr. B, as well as any favorite band memories you might have had. So here's our last segment of the, that for this year. Up first, uh, Camden Lion asked, what's your favorite band meme? And also his favorite band memory was finally making finals at OVA and seeing the smile on my section's face and knowing that what I do has given me a family that is dope as heck. Okay, uh, way to word it there, Camden. Yes, making finals at OVA was definitely, I think on a, a lot of um, high school band members, list this year is just top experiences. That was a really cool feeling to qualify as one of the best 12 bands amongst all 4A and 5A marching bands this year. It was really, really cool. Um, he asked me what is my favorite meme. I, I took it to my favorite band meme. I have lots of favorite memes, but my favorite band meme, uh, it's got to be the clarinet kid meme. It's one of the OG original memes from several years ago, and I love it because it kind of, it just... It, you know, it laughs at the past, which we should be able to do. And I don't know at what point in time parents thought it'd be good ideas to have, like, pictures made like this with their kids. And it wasn't just band pictures. It was, like, high school pictures, too, where you'd be, like, doing a pose, and then they would, like, fade it into the background on top of the kid. So it looks like, you know, he's playing his clarinet inside of his head here. And there have been several iterations of the clarinet kid meme uh, that make me giggle. Uh, over the years, so check that one out. That's my favorite one. Uh, up next, we had Damian Allman, freshman euphonium player, said, My favorite band memories this year was getting to know so many people this year and having a blast through it all. The bus trips were fun as well. It is all about the bus trips. Uh, that's right. I mean, can we just say that? Freshmen, sophomores especially, you just love those bus trips on Friday nights and all of our contests. <laughs> um I don't want to know everything that goes on on the bus unless I have to. Most of the time our kids are well behaved, but uh, I know you guys have a lot of fun on the bus trips. And Damien, I'm glad to hear that you enjoyed those uh, this school year. After that, oh my gosh. Oh, Ethan Hodges. He asked if I could pick him up at the fairgrounds. Uh, those of you that don't know, uh, Ethan pranked me after our <laughs> trip to the state uh, parade contest, the state fair marching parade contest. And we spent some time at the state fair afterwards and about six, you know, we went home at about four o'clock and later on that evening, about 6.30, he sent me a text on Remind saying something like, uh, I'm in the parking lot at the state fairground where it is the bus. Completely sent me into a panic. I started texting his sister and other students and like, where is Ethan? Did I miss him? And, you know, come to find out he was just pranking me from home and I heard they had a good laugh on that one. Yes, I can laugh about it now, Ethan. Please don't pull that prank again next year. I will not be happy about it. After that, Mr. Garrett Mitchell asks if I've ever heard the Final Fantasy VII soundtrack. It's on Spotify and it is really good. Okay, I'll take your word for it, Garrett. I have nothing but time on my hands now, especially that summer's approaching, so I will listen to the Final Fantasy VII soundtrack. I'm assuming it's gotta be better 
than the Final Fantasy VI soundtrack, but maybe not as good as the Final Fantasy VIII. I'll, I'll just check it out. I'll dive into it. Thank you for the music recommendation. Uh, after that, 8th grader Layla Trostlayer says, My favorite band memory was with our marching band and prop crew. It was so much fun to watch them play and to go to to go with them to contest. By far one of my favorite memories. Big smiley face right there. Um, Layla, that is awesome to hear. You are going to love being part of the high school band next year, uh, especially if you love prop crew. You just get to be involved that much more. And I know all the 8th graders that are, gonna, are coming up are going to be a great addition to our high school band. And uh, I just can't wait to see you thrive and enjoy all those experiences. Layla, glad to hear that you enjoyed that this year. Uh, Sarah Price says, My favorite band memory is probably when I would get to the band room before you and Dr. C and keep the lights off and sleep on the floor. Sarah, I do remember that several times. Walking in early, you know, like 7 in the morning during, during the spring semester, flipping on the light and you're bundled up uh, under a blanket in the corner. Uh, <laughs> sleeping. Um... And then you also added, or me asking if I could bring emotional support sales to class. Yeah, there's a lot of uh, support animals out there that people claim nowadays. I'm sorry, I don't think emotional support snails qualify. But uh, I guess if you keep them in your pocket, it's that's up to you. I'm glad to see that you have a support animal, even if it is a snail, Sarah. Uh, after that, I had a couple pictures sent in by Maddie Jones, some of her favorite memories. This was a great time. This was at Shortgrass Honor Band. Uh, judging by the look here... Brody looks like oh yeah, like a little kid. This has got to be like eighth grade maybe. Uh, when when you guys made it to Shortgrass Honor Band, we were at the indoor water park in January. It's freezing outside, as you can see on the windows there, in the background. And uh, we had inner tubing and slides. That was always a fun trip to Honor Band, especially when we got to go to the water park. Love that one. She also shared a little collage here of uh, pictures from this year. Let's see if I can. Size. Nope, that didn't work. I just made it worse. Okay, this is some pictures of Tribal Effect, it looks like here. Uh, that's right, she was our 8th grade pit crew member. I remember that, Maddie Jones. And then March Symbols at Games, and she got to be part of Tribal Effect. What a neat experience that was for you. There she was hitting the Yamaha DTX pad with all of the oh my God! sound effects. Uh, that was a really fun show. If you haven't seen that one, youngins, go check out the Tribal Effect show on YouTube. Uh, it was it was a good one. All right, and then uh, up last, uh, Logan Smith uh, asks here, I'm sorry to interrupt, but do you know whose dog this is? No. No, I do not know whose dog this is, Logan. You goofball, quit sending me pictures of this meme with this guy with a gigantic head here. And uh, gigantic head... With a dog and, and huge muscles. I don't know what your fascination is. Let me find that picture there. I don't know what your fascination is, Logan, with this picture. Okay. Hey, hey bro. Sorry to interrupt. Do you know who's dog this is? Dude. No. I do not know. Quit bothering me with this meme. Goofball. All right, kiddos. That wraps it up for our last Hey Band of the school year. I miss you guys. I hope you have a great summer. Please let me know if you'd like some chocolate. If you need any help with anything, I'm still available. Contact me on Remind or Dr. C on Remind or email or Facebook. We'd love to help you out or hear from you. Have a great summer, Ben. See you next year.